everybody. Uh, my name is Matt Gerber. I'm the Director of Business Development with the Diamond Allegiance. I'm excited to welcome in uh, Matt Tanner with uh, Blast Motion today. Matt, how you doing? Doing well, Matt. How are you? You guys are busy over there, huh? Yeah, always, my friend. Always, man. So I um, want to just uh, quickly kind of run down an intro um, for, our, for our membership. Um, what's your background in baseball and, you know, how did you get, um, you know, with Blast? How long you've been doing uh, working with Blast? Yeah, so I'm the senior channel manager for Blast Motion Baseball and Softball, uh, a long way of saying I get a unique opportunity to work with our, our sales teams and on the uh, amateur side, so from the collegiate market all the way down to a lot of the organizations that Diamond Allegiance are working with, um, and even down into like youth ball. Um, my baseball upbringing is pretty unique. Um, I didn't realize I was born on third base with a silver spoon in my mouth, but uh, my grandfather, uh, was Chuck Tanner, used to manage and play in the big leagues for a while, so uh, I was born in 79, and uh, he actually was the, managing the Pirates that year in 1979, and then um, briefly with the Braves, um, and that's what I kind of vaguely remember um, from there, and uh, just just one of those kids who just, there was a ball around, I was going to bounce it or throw it or try to hit it. Uh, unique opportunity to go down to uh, North Carolina, actually I walked on there um, originally my freshman year, and then uh, got some innings my sophomore and junior year before I realized I was washed up like everybody else that's probably, uh, you know, listening in right now. There's that moment, whether you made it or not, where the days are over. Um, and that's the unique opportunity. I've been with Blast for uh, four and a half years, actually coming um, up on my fifth year. Um, you know, I kind of throw around my baseball background. And, but what I want to highlight, Matt, is what's, what's neat about Blast Motion, you know, is that when you reach out to any of us, our account executives or our customer success team that all helps our, you know, all our organizations, you're going to get someone with a very similar background to myself. Um, you know, John Moscott's had, actually had a cup of coffee up in the big leagues. Jeff McGarry's played for University of Penn. Uh, I could just go on and on about all these guys that, uh, you know, played in some place and actually some of the great females we have. Uh, Dre, who played at UCLA, and Ashley, who played at Georgia Tech. So, you know, you get a call and somebody picks up from the blast side, you're going to get somebody who's pretty genuine to the sport and athletics. Yeah, no doubt about that. I know I've, I've definitely seen that, um, you know, my days as a, as a club owner, um, you know, every interaction I had with the, with the blast team, you know, it felt like I was picking up the phone and, and talking to people that, that knew the game and, and also knew, you know, what, what the club organization and uh, what they were trying to get at. So um, before we get into that part of it, obviously an important part in, uh, of our conversation, could you just kind of give us a brief history of blast motion um, where you guys started and um, you know, maybe some of the future looking forward things that you guys are currently working on. Yeah, you know, it's just like uh, any technology, like even even this thing, it takes some time, right? Um, so, you know, it, it's funny, I think over the last few years, everybody's sort of, uh, Blast has become sort of a common household name, but um, we've actually been in business for, for 10 years now. So, you know, th this started a long time ago with two individuals who created the hardware, um, and then our founder who, who brought some money into it, um, was excited about that, Michael Fitzpatrick, originally on the golf side. Um, but through that, we've evolved more into the baseball side. Um, you know, we're proud to be working with basically the majority of the major league teams right now. Um, you know, we're working with between the softball and baseball close to 800 colleges, um, D1 level all the way down to JUCO, NIA, AA, AAA, or <laughs> wait, I went to the big leagues, uh, D2, D3. Um, but, you know, where we really built ourselves over that time, I mean, our, our, our true story with some of the data, which I won't get too deep into the weeds with uh, what we're looking at, but we started working with Houston and, and we really just tried to look at why did individuals get stuck in single A um, and why did other guys shoot right up to the big leagues? And we started to see some of the same characteristics in the data. Um, and that, I think, really was um, the tipping point for blast when that happened. And then, you know, now over the last four and a half, five years I've been here, um, we've been able to actually get down to what we're talking to, right, to the organizations that we're talking to today, the youth athletes who, um, you know, have those aspirations to actually go all the way up, right? I promise you. My son, who's 11, thinks he's going to go play in the NBA. Um, I mean, he'll have some challenges, but any kid who puts a glove on and walks out the shortstop or right field or on the mound, um, you know, that moment, they're still dreaming about that. And it's it's pretty unique that I've had the opportunity to watch Blasco from um, kind of like our first steps in the big league, kind of kind of win at the top level and watch it actually trickle down into the youth and watching them benefit from our product. So it's been quite a journey. Again, I think it's funny because you just see technology and you're like, oh, it's here today. I'm like, it's actually been nine or 10 years of, making sure the data is correct you know this year we're going to have like 250 to 300 million swings or actions um so you know we're able to collect all that data but like you know that wasn't the case even when i started we had one division one uh d1 power five program on with blast at the time uh, michigan state who's now back as a customer of ours on the baseball side and now i can stanford you know arkansas i could you know duke uh clemson i can just start michigan i can just start listing them and it's and that's 
at the highest level, I mean, I can even go in again to the NIAs and the smaller D1s, everybody else who's out there using it. So it's been a journey, but we're proud to be where we're at today. Yeah, and I think that's awesome. And I think, you know, you, you talk about you know, whether it's Division One baseball, you know, professional baseball, and now even down to the club side. And I think that, um, you know, obviously from the Diamond Allegiance uh, side of things, you know, representing, you know, many of the top organizations in the country, um, you know, the partnership between um, travel organizations, academies, and Blast Motion is something that's not necessarily new to the space, something that you guys have, have been doing and have been focusing on. But if you could talk a little bit about why you guys have kind of targeted that, um, and then, um, you know, some of the, the, um, the, the perks and benefits that you see for an organization, um, you know, partnering with Blast. Yeah, and I and, and that's great because that's why I want to talk directly to that market, Matt. And I know you and I when we were setting this up was like, hey, how do these organizations implement, benefit, you know, all the things from that and this really, really unique partnership, the Diamond Allegiance. You know, if you are with Diamond Allegiance, you're going to have an opportunity to get pricing uh, and support from Blast that you know not all the organizations are getting right now. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, the shortest answer of why Blast, I mean, it it, it even if you're kind of a, lukewarm on player development, it's still player development. I mean, that's, that's the simplest thing here, but when you kind of push that aside, because I think it's important to say, okay, yeah, you're, you're own an organization and you really care about your youth. You want to see a kid make a JV team. You want to see a kid make his varsity team. You want to see those elite athletes actually move on to college or to pro ball, but push all the, that, that aside. I mean, the, the real benefit is they're running a business, right? Whether it's a small, a medium or a large business, it really is about money. Um, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say at the end of the day, I think they truly care about their athletes. But that's what I kind of wanted to touch on with, with you and the partnership that we have today. Um, you know, you, because of you have, you know, the partnership that we have, you are going to receive the lowest tiered pricing. So um, it's actually half off of retail for the sensor and then half off of the subscription of the locker seat for the athletes. So you're getting everything basically just cut right in half uh, because of this partnership. So those orgs that are already working with you have the unique opportunity to bring their athletes in on a very fair cost. Um, I know a lot of the organizations have been pitched on this, but the concept of how to have an ROI, you know, from that, um, make a little bit of extra money. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've gone in and seen dusty rap sodas or things sitting on the ground. I'm like, do you benefit from that financially? No, I just kind of invested in it and I don't do anything. And I'm like, all right, well, let's sit down and really talk about that. And I, and I think that's what's unique about our account executives. And we've also implemented this past year, a customer success team that actually makes sure that they, they hold your hand through this entire process. Um, but, but really, when I look at the core of running that small business, we want to be there and be a partner with you and your business, right? Um, we want to go ahead and say, hey, you know, you're going to get the athletes better. You know, this is going to be used for those athletes that, that move up. But how do we actually help and benefit your small business? Um, you know, put a, I always talk about, you know, from the sales side, the management, I said, I'm only as good sort of as my, my team, the individuals that are down there to put food on my table for my kids and my family. You know, that's what we're trying to do for that organization owner is, is be able to put more in them whilst in their, you know, their piggy bank, while also helping the organization down where the athlete sees that, their staff sees that, and more importantly, probably than anyone, the parent sees it, right? So there's still, even if you're going to upcharge that a little bit, and let's just be real, that's what it is. You're still going to be able to give them competitive pricing that they're not going to get on Christmas if they go buy a sensor and a subscription. So yeah, um, there's no doubt. And I think, you know, I think we should kind of stick on this and, you know, talk through this a little bit because, you know, the Diamond Allegiance was born out of the idea that, um, you know, there's a lot of operators out there that um, could be doing a better job at monetizing their business while also providing value to parents. And at the end of the day, um, the travel ball marketplace um, has gotten, you know, saturated with, um, you know, high expense things and, and you know, it's, it, it can get quite expensive. So, you know, the Diamond Allegiance exists to, to, to benefit our, our members, you know, from the top down, from the organization head, the players and coaches, um, the parents, right? So th this partnership with Blast checks all those boxes, if you really think about it, right? Being able to offer... Um, you know, top of the line player development, um, a sensor, um, a player development um, app through both, both, both Blast Connect and Curve. Um, so we're getting to the player. We're offering them something that's going to get them better. Um, we're offering at a, at, a, at a deep discount to what parents could get it in the general marketplace. And we're giving that owner a, a potential to, to monetize um, and to, you know, provide value for, for their constituents. So again, if you want to talk a little bit more for me, I'd like to, I'd like to hear from your end, like, you know, I'm an organization owner in the Diamond Allegiance, you know, what does that get me from implementation um, to ongoing support? Because those things are important. I think you touched on a little bit, Matt, 
but we all know that the time it takes to implement things like this, um, a lot of these guys don't have. Yeah. Um, so, so what does your team do to make that transition really easy? No, I think, well, first, I, I appreciate the kind of the kind words and also what you guys were doing. I mean, I remember when we first met Matt and, and you know, your, your board and everyone and talking with it, it was like, hey, we're here and everybody you brought on, like, we're like, you understand that, like, and I do now, too, because I have two kids that are playing sports. I understand what it's like taking the, the well, checkbooks aren't around anymore, but, you know, Venmoing or taking my stuff out and tossing it over the fence over and over again. And I, and I do think that's where we align. I mean, we really at the core, we really care about player development. But and that's why I'm like, hey, take that one and remove it. But then it's about finances. Right. And I, and I think we do a, you know, a great job with that. But let's let's walk that organization through that like day one. Right. That like yeah. kind of fix it. So these larger organizations, what we like to do is actually, we call it a ramp up period. So let's just say um, you're starting October 1st, that's your dues and fees. Uh, you have the ability to kind of work it in there. Um, we like to do anywhere from 30 to 60 days where we're really gonna turn you up and on, right? So um, we're, we're, we call it a ramp up period, but your, your locker seats will all be available. So as soon as that quote is signed, you're now going to get a dedicated customer success associate. So we have um, four of them right now that are all across the country. So let's just use the Southeast where I know you're in that area. You get Andrea Durant, who's a uh, ex-Olympian silver medalist um, for UCLA um, on the softball side, but she knows her baseball. Um, she picks up the phone right away, gives that organization a call an owner, and we make sure we understand the owner, the champion, who's going to be actually like implementing that. Um, and we, we really go down the stack of understanding, hey, what are your needs? What are you actually looking for? And also starting to get those athletes invited in. So when day one goes live, boom, everything's ready to go, right? So um, we also know, again, time is at the essence when it comes to not only just flipping balls, but parents are calling you, what field do you need to be at? Where do we need to be to hear everything else? So again, that customer success associate takes a ton of that weight off of your back and starts to make sure that those athletes are getting in there. Um, we also start to certify the staff too. So we can go down through a certification because I always say hey, a superintendent or a principal, my wife's a school teacher, um, she's in administration now, but you know, superintendent can only be as good as that staff or the principal can only as be good as those individuals. So we're going to say, hey, who's leading this? And let's go down into your staff and actually set up, you know, Zoom calls with them for 45 minutes to an hour, still, you know, making sure that it's only, you know, one time or about, you know, making sure they have enough you know, time to do all the other needs that they have, but we're going to make sure through the entire staff. And then we also have done parent webinars also, where we invite parents on, you get your account executive and your customer success associate who will walk you through what this is, why the organization is doing it, catered specifically to that organization. Once we get all of that done and kind of the ramp up period, we kind of call it our load. It's like, we're kind of back here, ready to go. We haven't like gone yet, but now we're going to, we're going to take off. Now those sensors will actually be shipped to you. Um, we're going to make sure that we have a plan to hand all those out to the athletes. And at that point, we're collecting data. Um, well, cause we've already onboarded you at that point. We've already understood that your staff and, and the ownership understands what's going on. The parents have a very clear picture. Now we're going to go out and we're going to get some swings. But what's really great about our customer success team is it doesn't stop there. You have this individual ongoing forever and it's not an 888 or 800 number where you're just waiting. I mean, it is, you text that person on a Friday night cause you need something they're going to be there for you, right? Um, but it doesn't stop. We're going to continue to start doing data calls with your staff and with the individuals that are kind of running it. Um, we can do data calls with the athletes. Um, you know, we really start to dive into a 12-month plan because that's when your next, you know, renewal would come up. But we're going to say, hey, we are going to put you on a customer journey. Um, I won't walk through all of it, but there really is like every single month what we're trying to get accomplished so that you can be successful. And another thing I want to talk about the implementation, because implementation, I was actually just talking to my boss a second ago. You know, Blast is unique that it doesn't need to be an everyday thing, the same way that you're not getting spin rate on a pitch every single day, or you're not getting exit velocity every single day. We're getting some baselines of understanding where our athletes are. You're training with your, your staffs that already understand more drills than I do. I pitched in college, so I don't even know why I'm talking about hitting. Um, <laughs> but or maybe I am because so many guys hit the ball off me. I realized I had like, there you, the, go. Yeah. You, you saw a lot of good swings. Right? Saw the, and, and, you know, but we're really going to give you that 12 months and we understand how busy everyone is. And our, our job is to take some of that weight off while still giving you the opportunity to invest in a partnership that should be able to make you money through you guys kind of kind of mentioning the partnership that we have. And on the other side, and still giving a discount to the parents and then also educating the parents, putting the staff on an entire 12 month journey and getting to a point where we're actually like, at the core, I always say it's a partnership. It's, it's, that's exactly how I want to view it. And I know you all have done a great job with that, where it's like you sit down at the table, you talk to these organizations, it's a partnership. It's not just like, oh, I'm, I'm 
taking a money grab or yeah, player development is important, but we kind of all wink and just whatever they want to do. It's, it's truly a partnership with our customer success team implementation and, and the business, right? Absolutely. And I think that's, you know, it's important for us uh, to have partnerships with people that align with those, you know, with those thoughts. And obviously, you know, from the, from the first time that, you know, we met, um, you know, we could tell as a, as an organization that you guys were the type of company that, that we wanted to align with and, why we've decided to move forward together because you know at the end of the day player development is the bedrock of uh the future of this game and you know where we're playing um the, where the diamond allegiance plays it is the future of this game it's the people that will be playing at the collegiate level and you know at the professional level um, very soon um so us making sure that we're making player development um, a really important part um and, and again i say bedrock to the diamond allegiance uh, we couldn't have chose a better partner. So, you know, kind of moving forward again, I just want to recap um, for anybody that's listening to this and watching this, um, you know, the benefits that you will get um, as being part of the Diamond Allegiance um, and contracting um, with Blast Motions obviously it creates a win-win-win. And we talk about that a lot um, from our process. We want to create a win for the organization head we want to create a win for the players and coaches. We want to create a win for those parents. And, and, and Blast Motion checks all of those um, and is why, uh, you know, as I've stated, um, we've decided to move, move forward with them and, and create this partnership. So let's talk a little bit um, about the future of the game. Um, we, I just touched on it um, about, you know, our coaches and our organizations having their fingerprints all over uh, the grassroots and obviously those kids then moving on to the next level. But you know, from your perspective, you live it every day, right? We hear about tech in the game and those type of things, but um, what's going on with, with Blast, with tech? What's the latest and greatest? What are you seeing um, from a recruiting and scouting standpoint um, with Blast Motion? Um, and, you know, where do you see that going going forward? You know, is this one of those things, if you don't get on the train, you're going to get run over type of deals? Uh, well, you kind of go back to what you said earlier that like player, it's here, like player events here and it's real, right? There's, there's like these different eras through, through the game, right? When you look back and it was just, by the way, always play hard, but it, you know, it's kind of like, there's the play hard. We kind of don't know what we're looking at. Then there's this money ball moment where we're looking at on base and, you know, and now it's like, there's this, I think a very healthy pivot to player development. And, you know, that's obviously where we're a tool. And, and going back to, to what you just said a second ago, it, it's not going away. Like this technology and player development is not going to just like vanish all of a sudden. Like this is the new movement. So um, I like to tell people, I mean, I'm 42 and I mentioned that I was born in 78, so you could figure that out. But I was used to taking people out at second base and, you know, it's, it's a different game right now and we all need to evolve to that. Right. So when I see where the game's going, um, you know, within the blast side and from the recruiting and from the scouting, I mean, I, I know from the scouting side, specifically the organizations we're working with are, are directly looking at it. If not, uh, you, you've probably seen this a few times where you'll see a, a local scout out there actually be putting a sensor on a bat and actually collecting it afterwards and bringing it back to their side. So um, that's real. I mean, it, we're, we're at the area code games. We're at the Cape Cod. Um, I think it was a couple of drafts ago that we checked this. It was like 85% of the hitters in the first like three or four rounds were, we all had blast information on them. Now, whether, you know, at that time, certain orgs valued looking at it a little bit more than others, but those athletes all have information, right? And now that's becoming very real at the pro level. You go in the collegiate level, and I mentioned four plus years ago, we had one D1. Well, that's now transitioned to, you know, almost a thousand teams between softball and baseball using us, you know, so they're now understanding some baselines. Like I, I won't mention the name, but there's an ACC school that's, that's relatively close to you um, that started to look at some of our rotational scores in the post impact and was like, there's a direct correlation between the athletes that are showing this. Now they have a baseline of what it takes, you know, for almost for what you need to do in the ACC. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Hey, like I'm not going to be able to get out there on Friday night and be able to compete for power if I don't have this. So we're now seeing the youth athletes where, where we're talking actually specifically to today, your, your large organizations that have a kid, honestly, anywhere from you, you know, eight, nine or 10 to U 18, who's in a, that point you're kind of past the recruiting process but you're you're going through that to drive yourself to those baselines and those universities are now understanding them um yeah. we're also now working in in a really large handful of their prospect camps so this fall we're getting a lot of at you know a lot of camps who are actually putting that sensor on and actually want to actually take that swing and see that information from the prospect prospect camp side and again where i think this benefits the travel organizations going back to like a win, 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 you know, uh, the org, the staff, the parents, the athlete, like getting all that across. I mean, our, I mean, to me, the win, win, win is 
you know, actually the ability to be able to take this data, get recruited, be seen. And like, we now have that. And that's what these orgs need. They want to get their kids, you know, to move up and actually have some success. And I know, you know, there's only so many diamonds in the rough, but if the kid makes the varsity team, sometimes that's just a win, right? If the kid has a great summer season and you go to a big event in Jupiter or, you know, or wherever in Lake Point or wherever, and you have a, you know, a kid who you're like, man, he came out this summer and really changed some, some things in his swing with blast. And like, now he's really performing. Those are all like big win, win, wins. The parent sees it, the organization sees it in return as much as we can actually make money you know, simply off of uh, our, the pricing you get and move it up. There's also, you know, when you have kids that are moving on that those organizations are obviously sought after. So, and then yeah. we're seeing the game and technology. I mean, I mentioned it's not going away. Um, you know what I, I would say from the organization and the parent, just uh, try to understand the data. Like, you know, I, since I've been seeing the seat for the last four years, I'm actually very aware of like, if my son were to have data that I should understand it and own it because it's being evaluated, right? And I think a lot of times we're like, oh, it's just, I, I was on a podcast like two or three years ago and the gentleman asked me, what would you tell the parents? And I was like, and I would tell the organizations this too, understand that that's, that stuff's out there. Like it's right. it's important. Um, and there's, there's like it, with my son, it's like, hey, he gets a cell phone, which he doesn't have yet. He's only 11. But when he does, I'm going to make sure whatever app data, whatever he's using, like we are we are that for the swing. Um, but make sure you understand it. It really gives you a leg up. And that's what our customer success team will do. It'll make sure win, win, win across the board that everybody's there. Um, but it's an interesting time. I mean, I, I think you will be, I think, you know, I don't know about left behind. I think there's some great organizations. But I, I think at this point, it's it's moving so fast, the same way most all technology has, is that you'll be left behind if you're not willing to be open-minded and at least look into some of this stuff. Yeah, and I, I, I one thing I'd like to add to that, I think you summed it up really, really well. But, um, you know, personally, I kind of look at the draft this year and, and you know, uh, I saw a chart uh, the other day, Matt, that broke down like per round where the players came from, whether it was division one, division two, three, JUCO, NAIA, or, or high school. Mm -hmm. And for me, what I really read into it um, was that unless organizations had data on you, they weren't drafting you. It didn't matter how good you were, right? So what does that mean for, for our member orgs? If you look at the number of high school kids that were drafted this year, as opposed to the past high school drafts, that number was way down, awesome. right? It way down. Yeah. Um, and I think that, you know, one thing that we can do as organization owners is the Diamond Allegiance is making sure that we're trying to collect as much data and have that information to be able to give and to pass on to, um, to, to whether it's a college coach that's recruiting our kid, professional scouts, because at the end of the day, the, the more data they can get on a kid and the more that you can prove that a kid can do the things that you're saying on his behalf, um, the better off that kid, the more chances that kid's going to get. So again, making an investment in data, making an investment in these kids' future is important. And without it, um, it's kind of like having a huge missing puzzle piece, you know, that last piece that you got to shove right in the middle. You can tell a coach or, or a scout how good the kid is, but if you don't have the data on it, it doesn't matter. Um, and so again, um, you know, whether it's, you know, our partnership with you guys on the swing side, um, you know, whether it's, you know, through the curve app, you know, those type of things that we're trying to do, um, really tackling this side of things that we all know as baseball guys, a lot of us, you know, don't have the time for, and we sometimes overlook. So, um, again, really, really important, really important to the future of recruiting, the future of getting your kids, the opportunity to be drafted, you know, having as much data from as early as an age as you can, um, is going to be really, really important. So, um, Matt, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Anything you know directly to an organization owner, uh, players, parents, athletes? You know, I know we just kind of summed up the win-win-win, but in closing, is there anything you'd like to add? No, just thank you, Matt, and thank you for the partnership. Um, you know, I, we work obviously with a lot of diff different people. But you guys have been just for like the, the parents, the organization owners, and the athletes that are out there. You guys have been really a stand-up stand-up group we're, we're partnering with. I'm really proud of that. Um, you know, my ask is like, hey, just keep an open mind, um, you know, reach out once, you know, you're working with Diamond Allegiance and us, we're a partner, makes sense for me as soon as I'm, hey, I'm, I'm with Diamond Allegiance, the first thing or the second thing I want to do is make sure I, I go ahead and get a, you know, a 30 or 45 minute long presentation from our side of it too. And again, you're going to get a, a, you know, regional rep, uh, you know, has background in the game and will actually kind of walk you through everything that we do um, and try to make sure it actually works, you know, works for your organization. And, and again, that's, 
I, I get it. It's financially. Um, it's also making the parents happy. And it's also for the athletes to make sure that they're getting just what you mentioned, that they're, they're actually able to get ahead. And, and it is a world now where like, you're right. If you can't, Hey, this, this, this is a diamond in the rough. You should just draft them. It's like, I'm not touching them until I have some information, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm aware, even beyond the draft and the recruiting again, I, I think this is the type of product really that can make a kid who who's maybe lukewarm on the game, you know, get better enough, you know, get, get strong enough. And I think that's where diamond allegiance is too. We just want to keep people in the game. Um, so, so thank you, Matt. No, I don't, I don't have anything else on our end. Um, appreciate the partnership and more to come. Yeah.